what's up everybody my name is Lisa for those of you that don't know I was just moved to come on and make a quick video um, I was moved to use my work your light Oracle cards okay which I don't normally Wow okay this came out while I was shuffling off camera as well it says longing for home belonging the original light workers okay um, and get grounded Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. Um, so this is wild. Um, I know that a lot of you watching my channel resonate with the word starseed. Okay, I personally, I resonate with the word starseed, but I don't necessarily re resonate with like just one particular starseed. Um, or nor do I consider myself like a light worker or channel, like I don't really title myself. I, I am just Lisa. That's the way that, um, that that's what works for me. I I've never been somebody that really resonated with any kind of title. Um, I am all those things, but, um, yeah. So this is longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. This, this is for my people that are, um, look, my daughter drew this for me. This is, she's, she's, it's me, she says, as an alien mermaid. And, um, I mean, how wild is that? You know, <laughs> she gets it. Um, but this, it says, Mintaken, um, Mintaken. I don't know. Let's see. I want to read it, but it says longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. I know for me that, um, there is, her name is, uh, um, Ashtara, Ashtara Ren, and she has a YouTube channel called, uh, Starseed Energetics. And I found her a couple of years ago and the way I, I started following her, but, um, for me, she, she has been, um, the calm in the storm because I've had so many unusual things happen along, uh, my awakening journey. Okay. Uh, I, I started really becoming awake, uh, you know, I don't know, like five or six years ago. And, um, where my journey has taken me, has just been so crazy, but, um, Anyway, so this, how it says the original light workers, you know, she put out a, um, a message today that, um, it, it was, it's so right on time. I, the thing that is so amazing, it, um, with, with my connection with her is that right when I need it, right when I'm in like some sort of com confusion or I even like doubting myself or what I'm feeling or picking up intuitively, you know, because it's a lot of times, um, Nobody else is really talking about it except for her. And um, it's taken a long time for me to feel comfortable with even expressing myself, but she has been that light for me to be real yeah, because she is so real and so comfortable in who and what she is and what she stands for. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, she's taught me about the balance of, you know, give and, give and take. and uh, putting people on pedestals and, and understanding that we're all the same, you know, she's really been a guiding light in that force, you know, which has helped me really tap into a lot of my, uh, power as an individual, you know, being able to stand, to have a channel on YouTube and, um, speak my truths and do my cards. For, for me, a lot of the, um, messages, it comes through cards because, for me, it started that way because uh, it was easier for me to process. It was just comfortable. I'm I'm very connected to to the cards. I, if you know me um, personally, you know that I always carry some sort of deck with me everywhere. Like it, like even in the car while I'm driving, I'm shuffling. It's just uh, it's really wild. Um, so back to this card. You know, this morning I watched this video and that she put out and I cried because there's such comfort in knowing that, um, I'm not alone. You know, I'm not alone in 
uh, this mission. And, and I'm here to tell you that, that you aren't either, you know, um, you've been awakened, you've been turned on to, um, this higher level of existence. You've been practicing your path to guide others as they awaken to their own consciousness, higher level of consciousness. Um, let's, let's read what this, this is. It says longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. I feel that, um, many of you out there, because I have all different people watching me. I have some people that literally watch me just to, um, like they don't understand anything I'm saying, but I want you to know that you're still being, um, receiving the transmissions that just are coming out just from, um, listening to me. And, um, although you may not understand what I'm saying, it's still, yeah, they're showing me like, you know, like Tetris, like there's, it's still shaking you. Like, just like when you walk outside, you're still receiving those downloads and upgrades to your DNA, whether you know that it's happening or not. And, and then I have other people that are just newly awakened, you know, to the spiritual path. And then I have those of you that have been on the spiritual path for a long time, even longer than me, that are teachers, um, that are also, um, you know, speaking to the masses. Some of you speak to enormous amounts of people, which is amazing. Okay. And also the understanding that we're all in this together. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm hearing, we have a job to do. We have a job to do. Okay. And, um, there are those of you that understand that. And there are those of you that are just beginning to awaken to that. Okay. Be the calm in the storm. You are the calm in the storm. And this is even going to trickle down for some of you. For some of you, this is your role as, um, the person in your family in regards to your children. Okay, how you are reacting and how you are responding to whatever's happening around you right now is also what your children, you know, how your children are going to react and respond. What are you passing down? What do you want to pass down? What do you stand for? What do you want to stand for? I want to try and find this. So as I was watching her video, I, um, you know, at the end of it, I was, uh, I cried. I cried because, um, I don't know if I said this or not, but, um, I cried. Okay. Mintakin, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Mintakins are a soul group who originated on a planet in the constellation Orion. They were the first star beings to travel to Earth and believed to be the original light workers. The Min Mintakin's home planet is thought to have been a water world with water so pure that you could see through it for miles. For this reason, Mintakins feel most at peace and at home when in and around crystal clear water. They are here to teach us to see potential in everything and to and the light in all beings. Many Matakins have an odd longing for home and struggle with feeling like they don't belong. It is thought that this is due to their home planet no longer being in existence. If you pull this card, it can mean that you are Matakin and are longing for a sense of belonging and a root chakra healing is necessary for you to feel secure and safe. Wow. This is like totally resonating with me. It's, it's like, so I know I got my, my fellow people out there and that that's what's like, such a beautiful thing, um, at least to, at least to me. Okay. Because on this path and as I've learned and as I've been healing, um, my self-worth and, um, owning what I truly deserve and, um, things like that, not in an egotistical way. And most of you will understand that. Okay. Um, I have many very high frequency viewers and I'm very grateful for, for you. Um, And this is, this is what I've been 
this is what I've been doing for me, the, the root chakra. Um, perhaps you feel this longing to find home without knowing where it is. <laughs> perhaps you've been, wow. Perhaps you've been moving around a lot and you're in for a place on earth to call your own. If so, you're being called to connect with Mother Earth and to create it for yourself now, to choose where you feel most at home and create it rather than waiting for the feeling of belonging to come. Work your light transmission. Hold a card on your heart and say, I allow myself to be truly here and at home on this planet. I release any grief around not belonging or feeling held and call in the perfect home. What's at the bottom of the deck? Get grounded. <laughs> See, I don't make this shit up, okay? This is like <laughs> empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. I mean, does that go hand in hand or not? It does. Be the light. Own your light. You are the light. Shine. That's, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Let's read. Let's get. Let's read this. Okay, get grounded. You're being called to get grounded, to ensure that your luminous field is clear and your inner well is full. If you're not grounded, it is all too easy to get swept up in another per people's energy and mistake it for your own. Your boundaries will, will become blurred. As you are observing the energies around you and struggling to define what is their stuff and what is yours. If you pull this card, you are very likely on an, em an empath or a an highly sensitive person. I need time to allow alone to fill up your well. Balance your energy and get grounded. There are two types of people. Those who draw their energy from others and those who draw their energy from within. Reflect on which you are and carve out time each day to ensure you your well is being replenished. Being sensitive is a superpower, but like all powers, it needs to be nurtured in order to be fulfilled. It's easy to get swept up in the high frequency energies that are swirling around the planet. The quickest and most effective way of clearing all this from your field is to ground yourself by connecting with Mother Earth. There are many ways to get grounded. One of the most powerful ones is to practice earthing by connecting to the power of Mother Earth. Spend time in nature. Put your hands on a tree. Your palms are extensions of your heart chakra or walk barefoot on the earth. Work your light action. Do something to get grounded and connect with the earth. There you go. That's the message today for all my fellow star seeds out there. Okay. I love you. We're all in this together. And remember, um, yeah, get grounded so that you can be the light for others because this is what you've been training for. This is what we're here for. Okay. And it's also telling me, that they just told me to look down. And this one says play. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. It's about being in the now. Okay. Check out um, my WhatsApp messages from about, it, it, look in the playlist of this channel. And it has WhatsApp, WhatsApp dailies and WhatsApp messages. And there's, um, I did a bunch, like over the last couple of months, over about about being in the now and things that I use to be in the now and um, to get ready, get ready for what for this for this moment now. Okay, I love you guys. Hang in there, tough. We are all freaking rock stars. <laughs> I love you. Bye.